here. Yo what's up guys, it is Weird Dude and in this video we are going to be building a more proof treehouse. Now this house features a large interior with 4 stories, a nice garden with a nether portal and a small lake where you can get some fish. It also features a special fence that deals damage to any mobs and a working piston bridge at the entrance. The main materials are oak and birch wood, stone bricks, nether brick fences, resting glass panes and magma blocks. If you would like to see more houses like this, please make sure to hit the like button under the video. And now guys, let's get right into the build. The plot size we need for this build is 33 by 33 blocks, it is inside the white frame, the white frame is not counted to the plot size, we are not gonna build on it and the size of it is 35 by 35 blocks. So we start at the bottom right corner, count 13 to the left, then 18 more forward. Now from this block we place 3 oak wood blocks to the left, then 3 more to each sides like this. Raise these blocks up by 13 more layers. Inside the top layer we create a frame using any blocks. Place all blocks onto the frame. And now we can remove the first frame and place a glowstone into the middle of the top frame. Let's create a doorway into the front wall up by one from the ground level. Place oak wood stairs in front of it. Skip two blocks upwards from the door and create a two blocks gap and place glass panes into it. Skip two blocks again and create another window.
Now at the middle line of the left side, count 5 blocks upwards from the ground, create a 2 blocks gap and place an oak door into it. Skip one block and create one more doorway. Then skip two blocks and create another doorway. Let's go to the back side and create a doorway to the bottom of the middle line. Skip one block upwards and create another doorway. Skip two blocks and create a two blocks window. Then skip one block and create another window. Now on the left line of the right wall, count 9 blocks from the ground upwards and create a doorway. Let's move to the back side of the trunk and create a 3x5 birchwood plank frame. Turn left and place 10 more birchwood planks towards the right side of the plot. Place two more planks onto the last one and connect the top block to the right side. Place a birch wood plank into the middle of the frame. Turn left and place 14 more blocks towards the front side of the plot. Place two planks onto the last block and connect it back to the right. Also place two more planks into this frame like this. Turn left again, place five more birch wood planks to the left and finish the frame like this. Turn left, place 5 more birch wood planks backwards and create another frame. Now we create a 3 high oak wood column to each of the corners of the birch wood frames. Let's fill the top of this room with birch wood slabs. Now we create an oak wood slab frame around the top layer. And we also place spruce wood fences around the roof.
Place glass panes into the gaps. Now we can decorate the windows with wooden trapdoors. Inside we replace the ground to oak wood planks and now we create a staircase inside the trunk using oak and birch wood planks and slabs. Now from the top left corner count 6 blocks to the right. Then 9 backwards. And create a 4 high spruce wood plank pillar. Skip 3 to the right and create another pillar. From this pillar skip 4 blocks backwards and create another pillar. Now skip 3 blocks to the left and create the 4th pillar. Now we place upside down oak wood stairs around the top layer with oak wood planks on the corners. Let's fill the frame with oak wood slabs. Onto each of the corners we create a 4 high spruce wood plank column. Connect the columns at the top with spruce wood planks.
To the front, left and back side we create windows using birch wood planks, glass panes and wooden trapdoors. Fill the right side with birch wood planks and create a doorway two blocks away from the left side of the wall. Now let's create a roof using oak wood stairs and planks, birch wood planks and glass panes. Inside we can create another floor using wooden trapdoors. Now we create an oak wood staircase between the floors.
Now let's connect this house to the trunk with oakwood slabs and spruce wood fences. We also create a doorway to this roof. From the remaining door at the right side we create a several long oak wood line. Then three more six long lines. And one more seven long line to the right side. Now we can place some more oak wood blocks under this platform. Place oak wood slabs to the front and back side of the platform. Let's create a three tall spruce wood column to each of the corners. To the front side we create a single doorway and a two blocks window using birch wood planks. Add a five long spruce wood plank line onto the top. To the right side we create a birch wood plank frame between the columns. To the back side we create a 3x5 birch wood plank U-shape with spruce wood planks on the top. Place glass panes into the gaps and wooden trapdoors onto the sides.
Let's create a bird shoot plank wall around the doorway that is inside the trunk. Now we can go ahead and create a roof using oak wood stairs and planks and birch wood planks. Around this house we create a terrace using oak wood slabs and spruce wood fences. Now let's go ahead and create the top of the tree. First of all we create a basic frame using oak leaves.
Now let's fill the frames. And now we can go ahead and add even more leaves around this box to make it look more natural. Let's get inside and go to the top floor. We can create some more space by removing leaves from the walls. Let's move to the bottom left corner of the plot, count 16 to the right. Then one upwards and remove a 5x5 five five square of the ground. Let's create a three high stone bricks column to the left and right side of this hole. Place one more stone brick in front of the columns. And now we do the same on the other side. Place Oliver onto the inner sides of the single blocks. Inside the hole dig down by two more layers. Onto the middle line, place sticky pistons facing up. Place cobblestone blocks onto the pistons. Place resto repeaters to the left side of the pistons facing inwards. Let's make some more space for the redstone. And now we connect the levers to the repeaters using redstone dust and a sticky piston with a block in front of it.
Let's cover the gaps. Put magma blocks to the sides between the pillars. And let's fill the hole with lava. If we did everything properly, it's supposed to work like this. From the top right stone brick column, create a 9 long magma line to the right with a 3 high stone brick column at the end. To the right side we build up 3 more stone brick columns with 7, then 9, then 7 magma blocks between them. To the back side I'm going to add 3 more stone brick columns with 9 long magma lines between them. Now the left side should be exactly the same as the right side. Turn right and from the last column we create a several long magma line to the right with a stone brick column at the end. And place magma blocks between the last two pillars as well. Let's go ahead and place resting glass panes and other brick fences between the columns.
Let's place wooden trapdoors behind the fences. We also place wooden buttons onto the outer sides of the top stone bricks. Place wooden pressure plates onto the top of the columns. To the middle of the plot we create a path using oak wood slabs and cobblestone blocks. To the bottom right section of the plot we also create a path with a nether portal at the end. And as a final step we create a small lake onto the bottom left section of the plot using water, lily pads, sugar canes and white tulips. And now guys we are ready with our brand new treehouse. 
Well guys, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please make sure to hit the like button. If you have any questions or ideas, leave me a comment. And if you wish more, just subscribe up to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day. See you in the next video.